it's Linda Helberg. Today I'm gonna recreate Nick's full throttle look that I shooted in LA earlier this year and uh, I really really hope you like this look as much as I do. You better watch this video because I actually burned myself three times on my curling iron when I curled my hair. So I really hope you like this. Enjoy! To achieve this look I am going to start with a primer and I'm going to go wild now and I'm going to use the NYX Jum Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, the white one as a base. But when I created this look, I wanted to do something... Oh, when I got the palettes, like when I got this palette, I'm like, I have to do something with this because this is... This is so me, this is totally... This is totally my colors, totally my colors. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to do something red. Uh, an orange. We had an amazing shoot in LA and I'm actually not used to be in front of the camera at all, believe it or not. I take all of my pictures myself, I shoot my videos myself. I was kind of nervous actually when I was there, like okay now now the photographer is gonna think that I'm a pro and I'm like I'm used to being in front of the, of the camera and I'm I'm not really. All right, so I am going to start with, I don't really remember how I did this look actually because it was a long time ago now. Uh, I'm going to start with the red, this one, in my crease. Okay, now to the orange. I have to say it feels very cool and it feels like a great honor to be the face for NYX because uh, it's a brand that I've been using for a long time and I feel like I can, I can really stand for what NYX is. It's a playful brand that you know do whatever you want and just play with makeup and I really really love that. Alright so now I'm going over to the uh, rusty brownish red tone and I, I will put that in the middle okay so now I'm taking my blending brush and then I'm just blending it out and I'm using the rusty brownish red just to blend it now I'm going back to the red again and adding some more in my crease and I'm taking the the lightest color in the palette and I'm gonna add it in the inner corner of my eye just add some black or brown eye pencil underneath your eyes and then just blend it out and there's already some orange on this one and I don't mind that because I'm gonna put some orange underneath my eyes anyway. Maybe not here, but well. Okay, then I'm going over with the uh, the red one again on top of the black eye pencil. So it's getting really deep, deep red. Then just blend everything together. All right, so now I'm going for some eyeliner. I'm gonna use the Vinyl Liquid Liner in black. Uh, and I'm not gonna use this because I really, really suck on using these kind of eyeliner eyeliners. So I'm gonna use a separate brush for this instead. What am I doing? So the eyeliner is done. Uh, I had to do it off cam because I started to get sweaty because I was so... I don't know, I just... I've never been friends with liquid eyeliners. I have been doing the uh, cake eyeliners for ages. Now I'm gonna use some lashes. And I think I'm gonna curl my lashes first. I'm just using a, an eyelash curler 
just a little bit just so they blend together with the falsies. Right, lashes are on. Now I'm just gonna add some mascara on them. And then I'm gonna do my lips. So for the lips, I think that I used the color uh, Con Artist and it's from the Full Throttle range. And it's a waterproof lipstick, so you can actually go swim with it if you want to. I don't really know why you would do that, but you can if you want to. Or if you do an underwater shoot or something. So I'm gonna start with just putting it on and then I'm gonna uh, use a brush just to clean up the lines. It was probably this one I used, yeah. Then I think I'm gonna mm, add some, a little bit darker color from the Haywire palette because it's a black one in here and I think I'm gonna use that one in the crease just to make it a little bit more three-dimensional. Yeah, that's, that's better. And when you put eyeshadow like this, the eyes looks bigger. And at least I do want bigger eyes. So for me, it's perfect. It's just perfect. Right. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit more underneath my eyes as well. Just in the outer corners, just to make them open up a bit on the outside. Then last, I'm gonna use the Cheek Contour Dual Palette. Uh, it's a highlight and a blush. So I'm gonna use the blush just to get some color on the cheeks. And then I already have highlight on, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Just a little bit, like that. And then I'm gonna use the highlight to highlight my cheekbones, my nose, my forehead and my chin as usual. And, and I think that's it, I'm done. So guys, this was my recreation of the full throttle look from NYX that I created. As I said, I'm so happy to be a part of this and I can't really explain how happy I am and how proud I am to have done such thing like this. I really hope you like this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on Buying Beauty and I'll see you again next week. Bye!